It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmas. Before we go back to your calls, I want to cover this story. Court rules against vaccine autism claims. Oh, it's a claim that mercury is a poison and shouldn't be used as a preservative. That's a claim. Really, when I was in school, they taught me that mercury was a high-level poison and that I shouldn't ingest or touch it in its raw form. But now it's nutritious and delicious. If you listen to the Alex Jones Show earlier in the evening, he played you the local news clip where it says it actually helps your brain and ups your IQ. Vaccines that contain a mercury-based preservative called thimerosal cannot cause autism on their own. Lie, lie, lie. Liars. These people love to lie. They lie constantly. It's their thing. A special U.S. court ruled on Friday dealing one more blow to patients seeking to blame vaccines for their children's illnesses. The special U.S. court uh, federal claims ruled that vaccines could not have caused the autism on an Oregon boy, William Meade, ending the family's quest for reimbursement. <sighs> All I can say to you out there is, if you have a heart, if you really do care about your family, into the child you're about to bring into the world, into your toddler that's in preschool, do not vaccinate them. I'm telling you, just don't do it. Get the conscientious objector waiver and be an adult. Yeah, you might get made fun of by some of your neighbors. Yeah, you might get threatened by local law enforcement. But I can tell you one thing, you won't brain damage your kid. And isn't that more important than any of that? Isn't that the most important thing? That your kid leads a happy and healthy life and has a chance in this crazy mixed up world? That you're not shooting them full of poison that actually damages their brain? That's probably a good idea not to do. To damage your child's brain with poison. That's what you're doing. When you, when, you, when you give them the shot, when you take them in for swine flu vaccination. Oh no, the big bad swine flu is going to get everybody. We're all going to die. Oh, we're on pandemic level six. World government, UN health regulations. We got to take it. We'll sell it to Walgreens. And then people realize when they see a pretty cheerleader who took the regular flu shot being paralyzed that maybe this isn't such a good idea. They understand when TV doctors like Dr. Oz get up on CNN and say, well, we have had some issues in the past. In the 1970s, there was an outbreak of Gilliam Beret. Well, are you going to have your children take it, Dr. Oz? Well, I'm Dr. Oz on television, but I'm Mr. Oz here at home, and me and my wife have decided that our three children will not be taking the H1N1 vaccine. Probably a good idea, Dr. Oz, not to poison your children with a vaccine that isn't even really for H1N1. You see, the swine flu that broke out mysteriously was H1N1, H5N1, and the human flu virus all coupled into one super virus. That's what they don't tell you. And now they've recalled the majority of the H1N1 vaccinations. It's on the FDA's own website. We're going to cover that later in the program. Google Street View survey raises privacy concerns, and I've talked about how it has never been easier to simply go online, find a person's home, go to Google Earth, see the outlay of their house, their neighbor's houses, the street lines, where you have to do, and commit a crime and get away with it. It's never been easier. And now this report, which is, I believe, out of the U.K., uh, the report, which was carried out by uh, a discount website, myvouchercodes.co.uk, found that two-thirds of the people polled thought that Google Street View images were intrusive. The company interviewed 1,317 people, 57% of which described the street mapping service as an intrusion, while 24% said they believed it was simply a service for burglars. And as this gets to be more real time, and they debuted some of the real time stuff this year, they were showing uh, the sky shot of a stadium that had a college football game going on. You're going to be able to see what's going on in the neighborhood in real time. You're damn right this is a tool for criminals. And you're damn right that it invades our privacy. When someone can zoom into the rooftop of my house in real time, I think that might be a bit of a problem. We'll be back after this taking your calls. It's the Info Warrior.